how high above the ground is this 15 kilogram box being held? To solve this problem, I'm first going to recognize that we are given the gravitational potential energy of the box. This means I can use the equation for gravitational potential energy. Since I'm trying to calculate the height, which is h, I'm going to go ahead and move mg to the other side of this equation. So we have the potential energy, which is 7,350 joules. The mass of the box is 15 kilograms, and assuming that we're on Earth, the gravity constant is 9.8 meters per second squared. All you need to do from here is type this fraction into a calculator, and you should get that the height is 50 meters. So the box is 50 meters above the ground. We are going to solve this engineering problem in 60 seconds. So here we have a box which slides all the way down a hill. What is the box's mass? Now to solve this problem, I can use the equation for kinetic energy which is given down below. The reason I can use this equation is because the box has descended all the way down the hill. That means at the end of the descent, there's no gravitational potential energy left, meaning all of the mechanical energy is going to be kinetic energy. So our kinetic energy will be the total mechanical energy, which is 2,000 joules. This is going to equal the right-hand side of the equation, which is 1 half mass times velocity squared, where velocity squared is 22.36 squared. Now from here, I just have an algebra problem where I need to isolate the mass. Now if you take 22.36 squared and you type that into a calculator, it comes out to about 500 exactly. And if you take 500 and you cut it in half, that will give you 250. Now at this point, all I need to do is divide both sides of the equation by 250. So the mass is going to be 2000 divided by 250, which comes out to a mass of 8. So 8 kilograms is the mass of the box. Imagine that we have a block on the end of a spring. The spring has been stretched, and we're looking at the system just after the block was released. We want to calculate the total mechanical energy for this system which is oscillating back and forth. Now when dealing with a mass spring system, the total mechanical energy is 1 half the spring constant times the amplitude squared. Now the spring constant is given to us as 40 newtons per meter, and the amplitude refers to the maximum displacement past the resting equilibrium point. Since we're looking at the spring just after it was released, 0.3 meters is going to be the amplitude. So we have 1 half times 40 times 0.3 squared, which on a calculator is equal to 1.8. So the total mechanical energy is 1.8 joules. Let's see how fast we can solve this problem. We have 300 joules of work done on a system, and we want to calculate the change in internal energy. Now to solve this problem, I can use the first law of thermodynamics equation. Q represents the heat absorbed by the system, and notice in this situation, Q is equal to negative 100 joules. The reason we have a negative value is because heat is being released rather than absorbed. W represents the work done by the system, but notice in this problem, we have 300 joules of work done on the system. So the work done by the system is going to be negative 300 joules. The two negatives here will cancel to give you a positive, and negative 100 plus 300 comes out to 200 joules. Anyone watching this video can solve this problem. So here we have an electron in a hydrogen atom, which drops from energy level 5 to energy level 2. What is the energy of the emitted photon as this electron completes this quantum jump? Now all you need to solve this problem is the Bohr model energy equation. We need the final energy level, which this electron drops to energy level 2, and we need the initial energy level, which is 5. So we have 1 over 2 squared minus 1 over 5 squared, which on a calculator that comes out to 0.21 as a decimal. Now you can take 0.21 and multiply it by negative 13.6 electron volts, and that should give you an energy of negative 2.856 electron volts, which is the answer to this problem. I believe you are currently looking at a potential energy equation that describes the potential energy between a system of two charges. Now what we want to do is use this potential energy equation to derive a formula for the electric potential at this point where the charge little q is. Now electric potential is defined as the potential energy per unit of charge. Now the electric potential energy equation is Coulomb's constant times charge 1 times charge 2 divided by distance as shown right here. We then need to divide this by the charge little q, where conveniently these two charges cancel. So the equation for the electric potential at this point right here is going to be Coulomb's constant times the charge big Q divided by the distance to that charge. So this is the electric potential equation we're looking for.